Hello everybody, this is Aaron Green here, and I'm going to do a new little simple series of just showing you how to use Redstone in Minecraft. But not just PC Minecraft, but Xbox. I don't know if there's much difference, but it is easier for me to use in this. So basically, first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a simple thing, it's called a T flip flop. So basically, that all this, what a T flip flop does is it sends an inner, like a, the redstone current. It's like it can open a door and close it. So what it is, is I'll just clear this it's snow, because my whole world's snow. So basically, what I will do is if you're trying to make like a door that can open and close by pressing a button, and it, get my chicken, get away. Uh, yeah, so basically, it means if a door, if you want a door to open from like where uh, for these pistons, you would use this. So basically, what you might do is you make it like this. So you need one, uh, but this one torch. You have to put it in the middle. I'm not sure if it works at the side, but it's best to put it right in the middle of the but round. Make sure it's one block down, so it's on a level like that. You want to put one piston there, one piston there. Uh, it doesn't need to be six pistons, but that's just what I use. Then you just get a block that can, has to be something that can be conductible to, so it can't be red uh, glowstone. You can't work with that because that is not conductible. That stops the current from going through it. So then what you want to do is put a block there, a block there, uh, get redstone. Put a block there, block there, and you turn the torches, one to go here, and one to go there. Now the last thing you need is a button. So the button can go here, or here, it doesn't really matter. I just put it on this one, so like, have it on this side. So once you click the button, it takes over the block, but I'll put it back. Uh, if I put uh, here, see how there's no redstone uh, energy coming through? That's because it's been stopped by this piston's arm. But the second I click this button, that uh, this block, this uh, stone block is conductible, so the energy can pass through it, which means it can turn things on and off. So, what I'll do is just the way you look at it again. You need to make sure that's in there, like this. Have the two bits on top, and I'll go quickly show you what I use it for. You need to go find it, it's down in my house. Most of my world is just about uh, redstone, so I'll get right to the path. Let's see how we go. Just these two chests right here, nothing massive. But the second I click that button, I've got pistons that open up. So you can see it's just there, so I'll just break in. There we go. I have a piston. I've got it right here, which goes all around up there. And using the pistons that are right here. Yeah, right there. So when I click this button, it'll hit it down. That means it pulls it up to hide the chest. You can see just there. So. That's a simple way of making a either a hideable door or like a secret entrance or just a hide your chest. But that really that's how the sim I think that's sim that should be the simplest way how to do it than doing all these other ones. I know there's other ways, like uh, ones over there, which I'll show you later. But this is the best way to make a so, Open and close the door with or using buttons because I don't really know any other way. It's just a series I know. So basically, this is all of this. So just all you need to remember is all you need is two pistons, three conductive blocks, which I can't really tell you. Could tell every block, and three torches, and well, two redstone uh, pieces, and that makes your key flip flop. So everyone, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.